today we will take up uh, problem number 3 page number 35 in the question bank suresh and shankar are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 1 is to 1 so two partners are there they are sharing profits and losses equally 1 is to 1 is equal their balance sheet as on 31 3 as as follows so look at the asset side you are going to find cash at bank bank you, you have to remember this bank underline the bank so instead of cash account we'll open a bank account all entries remain same wherever cash is there we make it as bank then we have stock look at the debtors in the last class we have created pbd remember so debtors 40000 and already existing provision for doubtful debts is there at 2000 rupees so debtors good amount is a uh, good debtors is 38000 remember debtors means amount to be received from customers that is 40000 provision for doubtful debts means 2000 rupees may not be received from customers so doubtful may not be received so 38000 is the good debtors next furniture machinery building patents patents is an intangible asset coming to the liabilities side you have creditors creditors is goods purchased on credit by the business or services taken by the business on credit so business is supposed to pay to the suppliers of goods and service that is creditors as well as bills payable both are almost same the document will be there bill of exchange that is bills payable both are liabilities reserve fund old profit to be divided among suresh and shankar then you have capital accounts of suresh and shankar then you have profit and loss account so at the end of a year business prepares profit and loss account to find out the profit or loss so here they have found 30000 rupees profit not divided among the partners they have kept the profit in the business only they have not shared it so even that 30000 belongs to suresh and shankar only because they were the two partners running the business taking care of the business invested in the business so reserves will also go to suresh and shankar profit and loss account appearing on liability said that 30000 is called as surplus surplus is nothing but net profit that also to be divided among suresh and shankar next paragraph on 1st april 2017 they admit jagadish as a new partner for 1/4 share in the future profits on the following terms so there are four terms and conditions in the first one there are two parts jagadish should bring in cash 50000 rupees as his capital and rupees 25000 towards goodwill so he is getting cash for capital cash also for goodwill b depreciate machinery by 10% decrease in asset c increase provision for doubtful debts by rupees 4000 underline the word by remember there is already 2000 rupees provision that is 2000 rupees may not be received now they are saying another 4000 rupees will be doubtful may not be received from customers so by is the word you have to remember increase means loss will increase remember doubtful debts is a loss so provision for doubtful debts is a provision against the loss possible loss so underline the word increase underline the word by by means same 4000 is a loss new loss is 4000 already loss of 2000 expected now at present at the time of admission of the partner 4000 is expected to be another loss next buildings are revalued at 1 lakh 20500 this is a new value 
you should come in the new balance sheet we have to check the old balance sheet value and we have to check building value increased or building value decreased prepare revaluation account partners capital accounts and a new balance sheet of the firm this is a problem 12 marks one so first we have to start with always the revaluation account the first account if this account goes right then your other transactions entered in different uh, accounts will be right if revaluation goes wrong entire problem will go wrong so you have to be very careful about the adjustments connected to revaluation account so let us see now revaluation account adjustment not the a connected to b c and d depreciate machinery by 10% machinery is 15000 remember decrease in asset to be taken on the debit side it is a loss because asset value decreases it is going to be a loss for the business to machinery account 15000 is there 10% is reduced so 1500 rupees is the loss from decrease in the value of machinery next increase provision for doubtful debts by 4000 i told you to underline by i told you to increase so increase in liability or i can say pbd is like a loss i told you so loss is increasing so debit side provision for doubtful debts is an expansion 4000 rupees is a new loss possible on debtors pbd is provision for doubtful debts pbd or pdd okay next buildings are revalued at 120500 look at the balance sheet value it was only 92000 now the new value is more that means there is an increase in the value of asset so increase in the value of asset comes to credit side it is a gain for the business benefit for the business so present new value 120500 minus old value in the balance sheet 92000 the difference we have to take it 28500 let me check once yeah perfect 28500 so we have only three adjustments b c and d connected to revaluation so i have taken all the three so i can go for uh, uh, totaling if i see credit side is more i am taking the value the total to the debit side so 28500 is the value so i have to find the difference between 28500 and the two entries on the debit side 5500 i have to minus if i minus i will get 23000 rupees as a difference that difference is nothing but revaluation this is the balance amount this is revaluation profit because gains are more losses are less so it is a is a profit to be shared among the partners to 
old partners capital accounts two partners name suresh 23000 multiplied by 1 by 2 that is going to be 11500 same for shankar both are equal partners remember so 11500 11500 this is the revaluation account it will carry around two marks but not about the marks it is about the accuracy next we have to get into the two entries connected to one capital other one connected to goodwill please read carefully jagdish should bring cash rupees 50000 as capital the entry for that i will tell you first one cash account debtor to jagdish capital account instead of cash because we have bank here as i told you instead of cash i will take it as bank so he is getting 50000 rupees for capital so journal entry for capital brought in by new partner i made an entry first part of it the second part of it is 25000 towards goodwill 25000 towards goodwill so again cash has been brought in so when goodwill brought in cash by the new partner the first journal entry is going to be cash account Debtor to new partner instead of cash it is bank here. Shankar's capital account. So being amount brought by new partner as premium. or we can call it as goodwill another name for premium is goodwill another name for goodwill is premium this 25000 to be transferred to old partners because they are going to sacrifice their uh, uh, profit to the new partner so that amount has to be shared you can see why i am debiting shankar's capital account because shankar capital account is credit here to close shankar's capital account i have to debit here so one debit one credit gets closed and whatever the money that has been received through bank it will stay in bank but the share will go to partners capital remember so read the entry here being goodwill brought in by new partner distributed to the existing partners in their sacrifice ratio you may be wondering sacrifice ratio is not given in the problem old ratio itself will be the sacrifice ratio i'll calculate and show you later so here shankar's capital account 25000 remember i am debiting now now i have to divide that among the partners equally 12500 and 12500 equal because the sacrifice ratio is equal so this entry you may be asking sir is it necessary you may not write in the exam not necessary but to make you understand i am writing if you are able to make the entries properly more than sufficient journal entry to be not to be written it is only for understanding coming to the combined partners capital account the second account to be prepared i have three columns because three partners are there so first always we have to start with the opening balance brought down that is the value from the balance sheet capital account value of suresh 60000 shankar 40000 liabilities both are on the liabilities side liabilities shows 
credit balance so for 60000 and 40000 that is the first step always always first step next we have to look for do we have any reserve fund on the liabilities side reserve fund is the fund created out of profit by the old partners now new partner is coming so they are going to share that 15000 is there that 15000 rupees has to be divided among partners in one is to one ratio that will be 7500 7500 so first step is capital account value the second step is reserves it can be in general reserve reserve fund investment fluctuation fund like that different names will be therein next is we had to look for any PNL account. PNL is on the liability side. Remember, I told liability side means net profit. So we have to make an entry here by profit and loss account. We call it as credit balance. Rupees thirty thousand in one is to one ratio. That is profit and loss sharing ratio. It's a profit we are sharing here. So I written as credit balance. I can also write it as uh, profit. So I have shared that among the partners, old partners only remember, it belongs to them only. The next is revaluation balance. Remember, it is on the debit side, two partners capital account, two becomes by revaluation account. I have written there for you to understand revaluation profit. It comes opposite side, remember. Whichever side balance is there in revaluation account, opposite side that 11,500 will come or the balance will come. So debit to credit here. Remember, opposite side. Then after these three, next comes whatever you have done just now entry. One is for capital, one is for goodwill. So remember, here again, instead of cash, I told it is a bank. How much money he is getting, the new partner is getting for uh, the business in the form of capital plus goodwill to be entered here. So that comes to 75,000 brought in by Jagadish. Remember? So then 25,000 rupees is the goodwill. 25,000 is a goodwill from Shankar. It goes to Suresh, 12,500. It goes to Shankar, 12,500. So in a way, Suresh receiving from Jagadish, twenty five thousand rupees. Again, like reserve, we have to divide. One is to one. Twelve five hundred. Now it is a profit for Suresh and Shankar, but for Jagdish it is a loss kind of a thing. So here we have to show here how much money is given by Jagdish to Suresh. So in a way, Jagdish is giving to Suresh 12,500. It will less from his account. Jagdish is giving to Shankar 12,500. Remember, entry, it will be... Uh, one second, I have done a small mistake here. It is Jagdish capital account. I have written Shankar both times. 
न्यू पॉर्टन इज जगदीश सॉरी जगदीश कैपिटल अकाउंट डेटर टू सुरेश एंड शेंख सो दैट्स व्हाट हियर जगदीश कैपिटल अकाउंट डेटर टू सुरेश टू शेंख दैट्स अ वन सो दिस ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड विल गो टू सुरेश एंड शेंख सो दिस इज द वन यूजली यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल गुडविल हाउ टू डिवाइड अमांग पार्टनर्स सो एंट्री फॉर गुडविल एंट्री फॉर कैपिटल इज डन so we have to go for totaling credit side total is uh, more for uh, both the uh, partners check the totals once right or wrong and then we have to go for balancing jagdish is having 15 25000 given to partners so his capital will remain in his account 50000 is the capital it will remain 25000 is already given to partners in the ratio check the total ones carefully yeah proper so this now balance which is called as closing balance carried down that has been obtained by balancing the account credit minus debit credit side minus debit side total so that will become that will become to opening balance brought down that should be transferred to the new balance sheet later coming to the cash account See, cash account here it is called bank account because it is given as cash at bank in the problem look at the cash at bank value in the balance sheet it is given as 30000 rupees so asset shows debit balance you may be wondering why i am taking here two opening balance brought down it is because asset shows debit balance two side this capitals were liabilities so opening balance was buy side that is the credit side so that is the difference you have to remember next who has got the money to the business jagdish capital account he is getting remember 50000 plus 25000 is getting to the business so total money he has got is 75000 rupees to the business so this 75000 to be entered on the debit side then we can go for balance of uh, cash account so how much cash is there in the business can be known from this when you are doing a new balance sheet new value of uh, bank account will be 1 lakh 5000 rupees so 1 lakh 5000 debit i'll enter on the credit side same total i will balance so by closing balance will be 1 lakh uh, uh, 5000 then the same total will be becoming opening balance 1 lakh 5000 so that has to come in the balance sheet cash at bank as 1 lakh 5000 so that is new balance sheet 
on 1-4-2007, the new partner, after entering, the new balance sheet to be prepared. Now we have to go for old balance sheet and we have to revise the values therein. So asset side, cash at bank I have taken, instead of 30,000, I have taken 1,5,000 because we got to know here the value of the bank balance have increased. Then stock 25,000 is there. No adjustment for stocks. Remember, we have not done any adjustment. Stock value remains same 25,000. Next, debtors 40,000 as it is. But remember, the PBD has changed. Old one was 2000, the new one is 4000. So, provision for doubtful debts has become more, has become more. That is, you can see here, PBD, PDD, provision for doubtful debts was 2000. Now the PDD is 4,000 increase, increase by 4,000. That is the meaning of this given in the problem. See here, increase provision for doubtful debts by 4,000. So this is the meaning they had told. Increase this, that becomes 6,000. To make it 6,000 here, old is two, new is four. That's why we are taken in the revaluation account therein. Next, furniture. We don't find any new value for that. Old one as it is, 10,000. Next one, missionary. Missionary value, 15,000. Look at the revaluation, you'll come to know. When you go back, missionary we have depreciated by 1,500. So decrease in asset, remember. So this decrease in asset will be shown here. 1,500 less. Less. Depreciation. After depreciation, it becomes, that is the missionary value becomes 13,500. Then we have buildings. Buildings, we have a new value, remember, 1,20,500. That is the new value to be shown in the balance sheet. So, but we have to go for old value first, 92,000. Add appreciation. See the appreciation value is there in the balance sheet. There's a difference of increase, increases appreciation. This amount, 28,500 is the new addition to the value of buildings. So new closing value of building is 1,20,500. Next, after building patents, 20,000, no adjustment for patents. As it is, outer column. So any adjustment is there that should come in the inner column. Otherwise, it has to go to the outer column. So asset side completed. Next, we have to go to creditors. Bills payable from the liabilities side. No change in the value of creditors and bills payable. I will take it as it is. Bills payable, 45,000, 40 and 45. Reserve fund should not be taken. 
because reserve fund we have divided here among the partners so that is closed that account is closed that will not come in the new balance sheet that is shared among the partners then capital account suresh and shankar along with that one more person is there now so suresh shankar jagadish three partners we have to take the closing values or opening value both are same One lakh six thousand five hundred eighty six five hundred fifty thousand. So we have to take all these three values from the capital accounts itself. Next, we have one more in the old balance sheet. Profit and loss account. That profit and loss account also we have divided among the partners. Remember here, by profit and loss account we are divided. So it won't also come in the new balance sheet. So from the balance sheet we have made all these entries, but we have to check always once. Revaluation account. Whether we have taken all the entries in the balance sheet. Buildings entry we have taken. Machinery we have taken. PDD we have taken. So all the three entries are done in the. Balance sheet, PDD, machinery, building—all the three entered. So then we can go for totaling on both the sides. If it is equal, your problem is correct. Add all the outside value. What is there on the asset side? What is there on the liabilities side? You will come to know the total. You can check once. It is showing for me three lakh twenty eight thousand. That shows the balance sheet is same. So if it is like this, you will get full marks. That is twelve marks for you. 